my total taxes paid payroll taxes plus income tax. Um, mine came to uh, 17.7 percent. The average for the office was 32.9 percent. There wasn't anybody in the office from the receptionist on up that paid as low a tax rate. And I have no tax planning. I don't have an. Uh, I don't have an, an accountant. I don't have tax shelters. I just follow what the U.S. Congress tells me to do. A new report out today shows that Warren Buffett is not alone in scoring a way sweeter deal on his taxes than, say, his receptionist. At least 30 Fortune 500 companies paid zero taxes or less for the last three years. So, or less means sometimes the government pays them. Over those three years, those 30 Fortune 500 companies made $160 billion in profit, but they still paid zero federal income tax, or even less than zero. If you paid anything in federal income taxes over the last three years, you personally, as an individual human, paid more federal income tax than Wells Fargo, General Electric, hi boss, Verizon, Boeing, DuPont, Duke Energy, PG&E, also, that we energy company that dumped this crap into Lake Michigan this week, you paid more than all of those companies combined. So if Wells Fargo was considering turning itself into you, one of the downsides for Wells Fargo of doing that would be that you actually pay more income tax than they do as a company. We're back to talk about Republican economics, where corporations are people and real people don't matter unless they're rich. A new report out today shows 30 of the top corporations in this country paid no total income tax over the past three years, including General Electric, part owner of this network. But in instead of railing against that, all we hear from Republicans is this. Today we live in a nation where only 53% of Americans pay any federal income tax. 47% of Americans pay absolutely no income, federal income tax. People who pay nothing can easily forget the idea that there is no such thing as a free lunch. A free lunch? Michelle, new census numbers show 20.5 million Americans live in extreme poverty. That means they make about $5,600 a year. You want these people to pay more? I'd focus on those 30 corporations first. Joining me now, MSNBC contributor Jared Bernstein, former chief economist for Vice President Biden, now with the Center for Budget and Policy Priorities. Jared, Republicans want corporations to pay less and poor people to pay more. Isn't that the class warfare they're always railing about? Absolutely, uh, Reverend. I mean, in, in this tax report that you mentioned, it's actually it's actually a little worse. It's not just that these uh, corporations didn't pay taxes. They actually got significant rebates back from the government to the tune of billions of dollars. And at the low end of the income scale, uh, while uh, Michelle Bachman mentioned uh, federal income taxes, remember, anybody who goes to work is paying payroll taxes. They're paying state taxes, city taxes. And the main point is that if you actually look at where incomes have gone over the last two or three decades, the growth has done an end run around the middle class and gone right to the top. And all the ideas I'm hearing from the Republicans on this issue would make that worse. It's that simple. Republicans continue to say we need to cut taxes on corporations. I mean, we just got to lower that rate or we're not going to be hiring anybody in America. At the same time, they want to tax the 47% of Americans who don't make enough money to qualify for federal income taxes. Here we go. Michelle Bachman was selling this tax system during a campaign speech in Iowa today. My principles are very different. It's that, first of all, everyone should pay something. Now, that even differs with Ronald Reagan. Everybody, right? Bachman wants everyone to pay some taxes. But right now, even the lowest 47% pay between 30 and 40% of their yearly incomes in payroll taxes. It's the biggest corporations who pay nothing. A new study shows this, that 30 Fortune 500 companies paid no federal income taxes between 2008 and 2010. In fact, they received tax credits. This corporate greed can be seen in places like, well, there it is, Fort Smith, Arkansas, where Whirlpool began its plan to gut its workforce all the way back in 2003 under a Republican president and a Republican governor. Huckabee, speak up to this. The job losses have cost the state more than $61 million, while Whirlpool profits are up 
124%. Joining me tonight is Congressman Jim McDermott of Washington. Congressman, good to have you with us tonight. Good to be here, Ed. Democrats are losing the message war on this, or, or am I wrong on that? What can Democrats do to convince people it's corporations who are not paying taxes, not low-income Americans? Ed, this is just another log on the fire for the Occupy Wall Street people. Everybody knows this thing's unfair. And when you have the Republicans walking around on Capitol Hill saying, we've got to reduce the taxes on business, when the top 500 biggest companies in the country are paying less than 18% on average. They're not paying very much in taxes. And then you've got these 30 at the top who are paying absolutely nothing. In fact, they get money back. They're, that is not true for everyone else in our country, every individual. It is simply not fair, and it, it's not going to work.